For liberty our fathers fought, which with their blood they dearly bought. The factory system sets it not. The blood runs chilly from my heart to see fair liberty depart and leaves the wretches in their chains to feed a vampire from their veins. Great Britain's curse is now our own, enough to damn a king and throne. God, in mercy, break our fetters and let us look upon our betters and rend the heavy iron bands which long have pinioned both the hands. Black with old time's corroding rust with which we've been so long accust, the clanking chains around the waist, bound like the lion, a ravenous baste, and ever praying for relief, sunk in despair, severest grief. Hark, don't you hear the factory bell? Of wit and learning tis the knell. It rings them out, it tolls them in, where girls they weave and men they spin. Look. See them rising from the beds, with eyes half open in their heads, and in their hurry, in their flirts, one half have left behind their shirts. Now see them for the mill a-clawing, their breakfasts in their mouths a-chawing. Hark, don't you hear the picker hum? It would a deaf and dumb man stun. Sounds like the wailing of the damned, who in the lowest levels of hell are crammed. Out in all the foulest weather, traveling on their worn out leather through snow, through dirt, through mud, through mire, or the ankle, sometimes higher, with draggled coats about their feet, their hoods, their cloaks, all filled with sleet. Hark! Hear the looms, shuttles rattle. The girls, they stand like frightened cattle, like cows beneath the forest oak, driven by lightning's blasting stroke the thunder loud roaring o'erhead one struck a ghastly corpse lies dead the rest with horror awestruck stand with terror fastened to the ground direful lowing awful bellow like ocean waves a gloomy hollow whose dying murmurs reach the shore in silence hushed now cease to roar Yes, our best blood we lose by sweat and hardly get enough to eat. Now in the evening near the fire, the wood burnt out, draw up nigher. Look, see them grouped all together like sheep in stormy weather. See father, wife, son and daughter filled with vacant idle laughter. God, we're ignorant indeed. Numerous as Abram's seed, nor have we time to learn to read. Many of us can't write or spell. The factory is a gothic hell. The muse, dejected, disconsolate, and broken-hearted, sitting on the confines of a factory village, taking a perspective view of the beauties of nature, almost lost in the distance and the magnificent buildings casting ever and anon, her last lingering looks like the sun sinking below the western horizon on the habitations of innocence, improvement, and leisure, bidding a reluctant but eternal farewell to manufactories.